Should one recite the Fatiha and Surah while praying behind the Imam? In a prayer behind an Imam, it is either loud prayer, loud rak'ahs, like in the first two rak'ahs of Maghrib and Isha, or it is silent prayers, like in Dhuhr, Asr, the last rak'ah of Maghrib, and the last two rak'ahs of Isha. If you are praying behind the Imam in loud rak'ah, like in Fajr, two rak'ahs of Maghrib, two rak'ahs of Isha, the Sunnah is that you recite the Fatiha when the Imam has concluded his recitation. And I'm saying it is a Sunnah. It's not a pillar because the Imam's recitation suffices for you. So if I deliberately do not recite the Fatiha, my prayer is valid. Because in the loud rak'ah, his Fatiha suffices for me. If I want, which is recommended, I should recite my Fatiha as well after he says, I recite my Fatiha afterwards. Now, reciting a surah for me after the Fatiha is totally prohibited because the Prophet ﷺ clearly instructed us not to recite behind the Imam any surah after the Fatiha. And that was referring to loud rakas. But if it's Dhuhr time, the Imam is not reading audibly. I cannot hear him. So it is a must that I read the Fatiha. This is a pillar. If I don't, my prayer is invalid. And it is optional to read a surah afterwards, and it's highly recommended. Why? After reciting, Waladdalin Amin. And it's a silent rak'ah. The Imam is reciting a surah. I can't just sit there doing nothing or looking around me. I have to do something because in prayer, you don't just sit there idle. So recite a, a surah. I finished it. Recite a second one. Recite a long surah until the Imam goes for rukur. But in loud rak'ahs, no surah to be recited except the Fatiha for you as a follower. 